This is NDTV, and you are watching NDTV Prime. Welcome to a brand new episode of CNB Bazaar Buzz here on NDTV Prime. I'm Siddharth and I, Parkinkar. Let's check out today's lineup on the show. It's the facelift on the Škoda Rapid. We drive it for you. A quick sneak preview of the new facelifted CLA from Mercedes-Benz. And we head down to Goa for the Rider Mania. Now, Skoda has given the Rapid a major, major facelift. The car looks completely different because it has that new revised face that's in line with Skoda's global design language. So very sharp, very edgy and uh, with new daytime running lights. But that's not the only changes that you're seeing on the car now. It also becomes a pretty good deal overall. Ronak Shah drove the car. Here is our review. The Škoda Rapid made its first global appearance right here on CNB's anniversary celebration. Now you have it officially right here, debuting in India for the very first time, the Škoda Rapid. The sedan version of the Polo and Fabia hatches and based on its cousin the Vento has contributed to over 70% of Škoda's sales in India. Yet it hasn't been the best seller in its own class. So in drives a much needed facelift and unlike what you would typically expect from the VW group, it is a major makeover. The Rapid is back to take the fight to the Maruti Suzuki Sias, Honda City and of course the Vento. We are in Masuri to drive this car. So the new grille and headlamps dominate the new look. sharp and very much in line with the new global design language at Škoda. The top end variant of the car also gets LED daytime running lights. The car also gets new fog headlamp cluster and also the honeycombed uh, air intake grille which makes the car look much more aggressive. The new bonnet gets these nice clean lines which uh, gives some angular look to the bonnet. the rear you have a revised bumper and a chrome strip on the boot lid, a tad overdone. It also gets redesigned alloy wheels, a boot lip spoiler and redesigned tail lamps. Overall the car looks fresh and slightly larger and more upmarket than before. We first tested the 1.6 litre petrol engine with the automatic gearbox. The engine performs well on the highway, giving you enough power as and when needed with smooth gear shifts. It makes 103 bhp of max power and 153 nm of peak torque. As we started our climb up the lower foothills of the Himalayas, the six-speed automatic gearbox did feel a little slow, making the car feel a little underpowered on steeper inclines. But all this is familiar as the petrol engine is unchanged. The highlight, however, has to be the new 1.5-litre diesel engine. We've seen the same engine on the Volkswagen Amio and Škoda has managed to get it on the Rapid 2. The engine is powerful and better tuned to the 7-speed DSG gearbox. However, it still remains noisy. The car's handling still feels stiffer than most of the others in its class. Skoda claims a mileage of 21.13 km to the litre on the manual variant and 21.72 km to the litre on the automatic variant. In 
Inside the cabin is where the car will remind you of the Volkswagen Vento, but with its own set of upgrades and tweaks. On the tech side, the top spec variant of the car gets cruise control, automatic headlamps and rain sensing wipers. The dashboard includes a 6.5 inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation on the top of the line variant. Skoda is also offering ABS and dual front airbags as a standard safety feature on all variants. The rear seat of the car offers good space and enough legroom for a comfortable journey even on curvy roads, but the ride is a bit stiff. The rapid petrol is priced at 8.27 to 11.36 lakh rupees and the diesel variants range between 9.48 to 12.67. Škoda hasn't really tried to be aggressive with its pricing here. This is an important product for Škoda and with this update Škoda hopes to sell about 20,000 units of the Rapid every year. Remember, the company will also be launching the Rapid Monte Carlo edition in India early next year. This is the brand new Mercedes CLA and well, you might be wondering what is new, it all looks sort of the same, but yes, there are a few changes, let's start with them. Uh, the headlights of course are different, they are full LED setup and you get a slightly edited daytime running light and you get this really nice chrome accent on the bottom of the bumper. Apart from that, the front is pretty much the same. Now the side profile is completely unchanged, in fact even the wheels are identical as per the ones that you got on the earlier car. But at the rear, now as with the headlamps, the tail lamps also have been updated and the basic shape stays the same but the lighting pattern of the LEDs has been sort of uh, made a little brighter, a little more different and I think it looks great especially in the night when it's lit up like this. Uh, again as the front bumper gets a little chrome strip, the rear bumper gets the same down here and the exhaust tips have been slightly updated. So there are a very small bunch of differences but I think it lends a nicer look to the car. The CLA's interiors have remained largely unchanged apart from the new silver design on the dashboard and a slightly larger standalone display. The screen is now an 8 inch unit instead of the older 7 inch one and has inbuilt navigation and Bluetooth and iPod support. The CLA also gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard features across all variants now. The sports front buckets are electronically adjustable and very comfortable, but the rear seat is best suited for only two people. The CLA is available with both a petrol and a diesel engine mated to a 7-speed gearbox. The more powerful petrol is a 2-litre unit with 181 bhp and 300 newton meter of torque and the diesel is a 2.2-litre 4-cylinder unit with 134 bhp and 300 newton meter of torque. Both the petrol and the diesel only come in with a front-wheel drive layout. The CLA goes up against the likes of the Audi A3 in India and is available in three variants. The cheapest is the CLA 200D style at 31 lakh 40,000 rupees, while the more expensive CLA 200D Sport is priced at 34 lakh 68,000 rupees. The petrol is only available in one variant as the CLA 200 Sport is priced at 33 lakh 68,000 rupees. Compared to the A3 petrol, the CLA petrol is more expensive by about 5 lakh rupees. The base model diesel for the CLA is more expensive than the base model A3 by about 50,000 rupees, but the top of the line CLA 200D Sport is cheaper than the fully loaded A3 diesel by almost 3 lakh rupees. We'll take a very short break here on CMB Bazaar Bazaar.